Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. In the last episode, our uh, good thiefy friend Hexat died. Killed by Hexat. Apparently, our Hexat was Clara. Quickly and precisely. So, the real Hexat wants us to uh, meet her at... Uh, hey, Hexat, I'm, I'm following you. I wasn't able to save it, so I'm a little annoyed at her. Um, wants, to, wants us to meet her at uh, Dragomir's tomb. Where is it? Where is Dragomir's cloak? Uh, Dragomir's cloak? Uh, uh-uh. Almondretta's cloak now. Give it to me. It seems Hexat needs Dragomir's cloak, which she believes will protect her in the world above. How did we conclude that? Uh, what's the magic word? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. First, you're going to give me some answers. What do you want to know? Who was the woman you murdered? Her name was Clara. She was nobody. Raised on a farm, came to Athatla to be an actress. Huh. Ended up working on her back until an old thief took pity on her and taught her the craft. She wasn't bad at it either. Not great, but passably skilled. She'll never use those skills again, thanks to you. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made. It's especially convenient when the sacrifices aren't yours. You have no idea what I sacrificed. I know it's less than Clara did. I won't apologize for doing what I had to do to survive. And if I refuse to hand over the cloak, what will you do then? What I must. Take your best shot, vampire. So, I wasn't able to save it, so I'm a little annoyed. Uh, but take your best Damn shot, me. vampire. I didn't want to do this. Uh, let's see what happens. Speak. I don't know if I can get the uh, uh, special reward out of this, uh, but we shall see. Uh, guys, guys. You will fall by my hand. Whoa. Alright, I'm guessing that means that I can't get the uh, special item. So, uh, let's go ahead and load back up. We gotta go through... ...some things. But that was uh, just back here. We gotta watch Clara die again. It will be done. There we go. Alrighty. Let's do this again. She was not very tough, though. The sleeper. Forgive me, Clara. This oh. is the only way. Now I have to pick up all of her stuff again, too. That's rude. Good to finally meet you. I am Hexat. Trap a pawn in a game I've been playing. Everything's a game. No, I could say, uh, try some other things. I won't stand here and listen to you diminish the life of the person you killed this way. Let's talk no more about it. I'll meet you at the copper. I can't be held responsible for All promises right. made by other people. And then she says that. Name. All right. Do, do, do. I grab those things. Grab that. Grab that. Servant awaits. Grab those. All the arrows. I must apologize, but I can yes. carry no more. I have set your item upon the ground. I mean, you haven't really set the item upon the ground. Certainly. 
Well, I was curious what would happen if we uh, killed her. Can I quick save? I cannot save at this time. Thanks, game. Thanks for not letting me try out other things. Where is it? Where is Dragomir's cloak? Nah, yeah, Elmadretta's cloak Give it now. To me. Uh, what's the magic word? I'm not word? averse to playing games, but I'll not play this one with you. Give it a try. You'll enjoy it, I promise. Then we'll play another game. I call it life and death. Guess who wins? You can give me the cloak now, or I'll take it later. Take it, but take it then, but no, I'm disappointed. You need to lighten up, woman. Ah, it feels like I'm wearing a wet rug and is nowhere near as fetching. Oh, you're right about that. I am. Don't worry, you managed to... Uh, ah, I was joking, what's the problem? Nothing. It's nothing. For a moment, I felt different. Good. <laughs> nah, not a, not a fan of her. Not a, not a fan of her. I, she is. She does exist specifically to uh, fill out an evil party. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not a fan of her. She's a nice portrait, though. I'll definitely say that. Alright, well, looks like we can uh, get out now. I guess we'll go uh, to the Copper Coronet Locked. Uh, can you pick it? I can dance on the head of a pin as well. Without doubt. The rod slides free, and with a grinding sound, the entrance reopens. Did I did I get the uh, the rod back? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. You must gather your party. They're gathering game. Forth. Quickly and precisely. I mean, Hexat was really good at picking pockets, so. Without hesitation. All right, off to the copper coronet. I'll kind of need to get some rest first, I think. To the slums. I was not waylaid along the way. This will not take long. All right, I am curious about this area first. Is this area kind of bugged? No, there is a uh, there is a path up there. I just couldn't see it in the darkness. There doesn't appear to be any reason to come up here, though. I have no patience for cities. Our stay had best be a short one. <laughs> oh, oh, Jahara. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, it's not. It's not going to be short. Not at all. Also, it's kind of weird that you can't put stone skin on anyone else in this game. Uh, let's do a little bit of healing. Actually, cast good berries first. Right, I keep forgetting that he has bark skin too. I'm gonna probably put that on someone. If it must be done. Oh, well, you're not there. Not in this group. There's Hexat. But first. Let's go ahead and rest. And... Where is Hendek? Does he have different stuff? Show me what you have in stock again. Oh, right. I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Like freeing a vampire. And watching her murder someone in front of us. Alright. 
What goodies do you have? You'll find no better prices in armor. I guarantee it. If you say so. Um. Right. Yeah, no, I can't afford any of these right now. That is, uh, that is a fair point. Uh, they are all pretty good. The sling here, that would be really nice. Missile should also do, do plus five damage, but whatever. Okay. All right, Hexat. Let's go ahead and quick save. You came. I'm glad. Your gladness warms my heart. My living, still beating heart. Uh, surprise? No, but I wouldn't have been surprised if you hadn't shown up either. Hmm. Have you taken care of your business? My employer is aware of the situation. He'll be in contact in due course, I'm sure. Until then, I may do as I wish. And what did you wish? By which you mean going places, meeting interesting new people, killing them, and drinking their blood. Uh, and what do you wish? The question is, what you wish? Well, I'm still waiting on that treasure. What I wish is that I'd killed you in Dragomir's tomb, but better late than never, I suppose. Yeah, why not join me and my friends? Hexet's purpose and Hexet's request. 10,000 experience points. Well, dang. I'll take a level. Some levels. Uh, do do do. I have a favor I must ask you. Oh, now you're asking. Uh, I've been expecting this. Look, Hexet, you're lovely in a faintly terrifying way, and I like you very much as a friend. What I'm saying is, I'm sorry, but I'm really not interested. Uh, okay. What? I need of course. You to hold on to this for me. And what is it? This was Dragomir's secret weapon. A way to easily transport his coffin wherever he traveled. It gave him an incalculable advantage in the campaigns he waged. He had his trusted lieutenants hold the bag. In the event that he was struck down, the means of re his regeneration would be close at hand. And you trust me with it? I'm honored. You should be. My life is literally in your hands now. <laughs> <clears throat> like, literally, you're giving this to a good person. I guess I'll uh, close that. Party's gained an item, Dragomir's Respite. That is what I wanted. Uh, do not take this out of your inventory. In fact, I will show what happens, because why not? Quick save. Actually, I cannot. Uh, no, actually, I can. To backpack. I am now overloaded by 1,275 pounds. There are more empty caskets in there. This item cannot be removed. Yeah. Why this hasn't been fixed, I don't know. But just don't do that. It's a bad idea. Anyway, it is a bag of holding. Um, and uh, Hexat has... Cask of Dragomir. The Cask of Dragomir was constructed by his followers when they realized that his vampiric lust for power and destruction would ultimately be their undoing. Both fearing and respecting Dragomir, they decided to immobilize and entomb him rather than attempt to destroy him. In pursuing this plan, they crafted the Cask. When placed upon the head of an undead creature, powerful magic stuns aware and prevents them from moving entirely while the Cask remains on their head. Hexet, not realizing this, erroneously woke Dragomir from his slumber when she attempted to steal the Cask. The Cask of Dragomir is a powerful nexus of undead magic and has many interesting pop properties that go beyond what the creator ha creators had intended. That item cannot be removed. She is wearing the Cloak of Dragomir. She has Hexat's Amulet. 
As you reach for her amulet, Hexite quickly snatches it back and menacingly bares her teeth for a moment. So I can take that off. Kind of curious what that would do to her. <laughs> Outside. I'm very tempted to try that at some point. Uh, I'm kind of terrible. Uh, let's see. Blood Drain. Children of the Night. Domination. And a Set Snare. Alright, we will not be uh, keeping her. Actually, let's uh, take a look at her stats without this. 20 Strength, 20 Dexterity, 14 Constitution and Intelligence, 12 Wisdom, and 18 Charisma. Yeah. Female, Vampire, Thief, Neutral, Evil. Go ahead and level her up just because... So she has club, dagger, short sword, single weapon style. She needs short bow. Good lord. I think real hex that was, uh, or Clara was way better than her. Right now her only purpose is uh, picking pockets, so I will probably ask her to leave shortly. Uh, why don't I just max uh, max him out? I think she'll probably stay around here. You should not be able to put this many points into uh, this. But, uh, sure, why not? I'm not planning on using her. I just wanted the, uh, um, the Dragon Rears Respite. A bag of holding. Okay, so, uh, gloves of pickpocketing, studded leather armor. I don't care about that, so she can wear that. When she goes out at night, I believe that uh, her stats go back to normal. But, uh, yeah. I had a non-magical shortbow, didn't I? Yeah, she can have that. That's fine. Give her some stacks of arrows, because I don't care. That way, at least if I pull her into a party, she can do a minimal of fighting. Go ahead and keep these. Now, it shouldn't do that in AD&D, uh, but I don't know if actually drinking a healing potion with her is harmful. Like I said, it shouldn't happen in uh, AD&D. That's not how these things work. But who knows what they've done with this game. You can have these for now. She did not get many hit points. Do you have a high constitution? Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's why. Right. Uh, what are you wearing? Studded leather plus two. Studded leather plus one. I eh, just go in there for now. Okay. Uh, so this has technically ninety-nine uh, slots. So we can put uh, 99 items in there. Might as well. I'll keep the wands out so that I actually pull them out and use them at some point. But uh, for now, we will just put these other things in there. Anything else that I want to do? Nope. All right. You will have a weapon at least. But, uh, yeah, I do not plan to use her. Uh, if I quick save and ask her to leave... It will be done. Nope. How do you get people to leave? Oh, yeah, it's like Reform Party, isn't it? Have me leave? 
Um, yeah, I've made my decision. Be gone. When you change your mind, and you will, you know where to find me. Okay. I guess she goes back to Dragomir's tomb. Alright, for now I'll keep her around uh, until we get someone else. Um, you know, depending on what else we do. Although I could go do uh, Corgan's. Corgan? I think that's what his name is. Um, I could go do his mission. We'll, we'll have to think about it. Uh, let's see. Did I actually rest already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, how much money do we actually have? 13,000. So we still need a fair bit more. We still need a fair bit more. Do you have dagger proficiency? Yeah, you do. Alright. There we go. You can at least have that for now. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards just uh, asking her to leave right now. Why not? I think that we will. I think I'll go get uh, Corgan, see what his uh, mission is, see if we can get some more money that way. I got what I wanted out of this. A bag of holding. I think you can get another bag of holding, but it's way, way later. And these work like... Um, stores. Which is why you have this. Uh, and that's why, like... The fact that, that they couldn't set this to, like, zero or something like that is kind of weird, but whatever. It will be done. Let's see if we can just get Corgan into the party and then uh, tell her, kick her out that way. Hello. I so you'd still be interested in my proposal then. How are you, mist you've mustered your resolve. Gird your loins, so I have no witness to bear to weakness. We've got a job to do. Uh yes, we'll join your cause and a fight to the good fight. Drink hail, then let us post haste to the crypt in riches beyond Ken. One thing first, I should tell you that I intend to rescue an old friend of mine named Imowen, and this takes precedence over anything else. Hurf. So long as we be heading to the tomb, I have nae a care what ye does afterward to find ye girly. Mm. What does the last need rescuing from, if ye, if ye be telling? She's being held prisoner by the cowled wizards, and I'm not about to let... Uh, leave her there. Ah. I have nae a liking for base dabblers in the blacker arts. Mayhap I might be joining you to slaughter a few of the bastards, eh? But young book comes first. Alright, sorry. I hex that. You would have me leave? Uh yeah, I think so. I suggest you think again. I have many talents that may be of interest to you. Uh tempting quasi offer, but my mind is made up. See you around, Hexat. When you change your mind, and you win, you know where to find me. Nah, that's fine. Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, I forgot about these. I need to do those. Uh, free Hendak and the Slaves, that is finished. Help Corgan recover the Book of Kaza. I've joined with Corgan Bloodaxe to gain the Book of Kaza for a collector by the name of Pimlico. It is apparently in a tomb beneath the graveyard district. One of the crypts apparently leads to a lower, older section rumored to contain undead, but also the tome. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Oh my lord, he has 100 hit points already. He is ready to level up. He is a male dwarf berserker. Chaotic evil. Oh, goody. 1877 Strength, 15 Dexterity, 19 Constitution, 12 Intelligence, 9 Wisdom, 7 Charisma. Yeah, he has a crap ton of uh, skill and axe. Uh, let's get Sword and Shield style, then. 
So he's level 10. Attacks per round 5 out of 2. Or 5 every 2, I should say. Uh, he has a battle axe plus 1. He has throwing axes. He has splint armor. Helmet. Small shield. Um, this would actually probably be a better person to give this axe to. Ah, except it can't be used by evil people. Well, never mind then. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Hexet gave me the iron rod back. I guess that makes sense, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> I kind of do need that, don't I? Uh, to get her back. Alright, well, uh, you have 118 hit points. That's quite a few. Yes? Certainly. Alright, where do you end up standing, Corgan? I need to find an empty space. There we go. Oh no, Hex, it's back here. Alright. Uh, you are back there. So that should be what we want. Nature's servant awaits. That's it, yeah. Although, actually, uh, swap you two around. That way, Corgan takes more of a uh, more of the beating, since I'm not going to care about him that much. He's evil. Uh, but it looks like we're going back to the graveyard district. Yay! Everyone's favorite. I just need money to save Emily. Anyway, that will all be next time. See you then, everyone.